Oliver, Germany's buyer has paid $14.5 billion for America's, America Merck's consumer healthcare business. Did buyer pay a good price for this asset? No. It looks like a very, very high price. This, the price they're paying is over 20 times trailing EBITDA. That's a high multiple by any kind of standards. So surely they have a tale to tell about cost savings, given the premium that they're paying. They do, but it's not a huge tale to tell about cost savings. They're promising about $200 million a year in cost savings, which isn't a massive amount. They're telling a much bigger tale in revenue synergies. This is mm. cross-selling benefits. They're, essentially, their story is that Merck's portfolio, which includes sun creams and full care products and lots of uh, cold and flu products, that kind of thing, is sold very well in the US, but not so well outside the US. So buyer's aim is to sell this all over the world, and they're promising $400 million of synergies from that, but these revenue synergies $400 are, million dollars of new sales. They're going to push the product so much harder in Europe, they're going to sell $400 million more. On what kind of a base is that additional $400 million? In other well, words... Well, uh, the, the sales base at the moment is a couple of billion dollars. Right. But so, so it's a significant jump. It's a significant jump, and it's not just in Europe they're promising to sell it, it's, it's all over the world particularly in emerging markets, right. et cetera. So, but it, these are very hard to, to pin down these revenue yeah, And Lex is always skeptical about s sales synergies. We like cost synergies. Sales synergies we're a little skeptical of, and that holds here. Right? Yeah, absolutely. So in a lot of the deals we've been reading about and seeing in this season of M&A, tax has had a big role to play. Does tax play a role in this one? It does indeed. Because of the way they're structuring this deal, uh, it should help to reduce buyer's tax rate. Effectively, the, the assets they're buying, they have to write up the value of these assets and then amortize them over several years. That depresses taxable profits and so should depress the, the amount of tax they have to pay. However, buyer is not being at all clear on exactly how much this benefit is worth or what exactly it does to the tax rate. And I think if they are asking their, their shareholders, if they're telling their shareholders that they're going to be spending $14.5 billion on this business and 20 plus times EBITDA, they need to be a little clearer about what exactly this benefit is worth to them. So, between lack of cost synergies, optimism about sales synergies, and vagueness on the tax benefits, it sounds like Lex is skeptical here. Yeah, pretty skeptical. Who knows, maybe we're wrong, maybe they'll, they'll make it all work. But they, they bought this in a very competitive auction against Reckitt Benkheiser. Reckitt pulled out last week, and I wonder if that also should be in what buyers should have done at that price. Thanks, Oliver.